Lamplings? Apparently this is the first time we're seeing them, probably because it's nighttime. That would make sense. Got some baby saber cats right there. We'll take this, don't mind me. More lamplings? I want to fight more lamplings. Yo, it's uh what's the um Lampin, I think? Evolution for Litwick. Nice. <laughs> I slowly feel my Pokemon muscle memory dying down. I used to... Not that I know nothing about Pokemon, I still know the Pokemon, but like I, I feel my knowledge of Pokemon dying down as I haven't really played all that much of it. I used to, I used to have really good muscle memory with it. Now it's kind of dying down, though. It's just something that stuck with me because I played it so much as a kid. It's your lucky day. I'm a traveling salesman. And to celebrate us running into each other like this, I'm going to offer you some special discounts. Have a look. What you got? What you got? Maybe some good stuff? You have a leather shield. That's interesting. It's only 90 gold. I don't see the harm in not buying it for the luminary. <laughs> the boxer shorts. You know what? Get another pointy hat for... The luminary as well. We're good on this, and we're good on this. Give me some fresh water. There we go. By the way, chat, I saw they uh, announced a trailer for Sonic Frontiers. Whoa. What was that? I don't know what I just did. Uh, I took my sword out, apparently? Oh, because I- Right, right, right. Right, that makes sense. I forgot you can't have shields with heavy swords. Cobblestone great swords. Right, okay, that makes sense. I always do that in this game. I always do that. I'm like, hey, why am I not wearing a shield? And then I put it on, I'm like, oh, that's why. Anyway, I saw Sonic Frontiers got, like, some kind of teaser. I'm not making any promises. But depending on how that game looks, if it looks convincing enough for me to play, maybe I'll play it. I'm not holding my hope. I mean, I haven't really played a new Sonic game in a hot minute. Let's do this. It, it, can, it can sell on me, though. It can, it can convince me. I wouldn't hold your breath, but, you know. It's definitely not impossible. I just have to see more of the gameplay, though. The great Saber Cubs are adorable, dude. I feel so bad killing them. Who else wants some? <laughs> Ooh, a gold chest, hardy hide. There we go. Oh, the lips. It's truly cursed. But yeah, Sonic Frontiers looks interesting. We'll see what they announce more as the days go by. Also, stay to play in two days. Easy. Really hoping we get some good stuff then, too. I have no idea what to expect, but man, I would, I, I'm dying for some... Specifically Final Fantasy, as I've been saying. Oh, time for peps. Let's get it. All right, that one's super dead. <laughs> I think someone in chat said Akira Toriyama does the character designs for Dragon Quest. He does great work. Because I remember during the opening, someone... Let's do this. Someone was uh, pointing out the character designs. I agree. 
Character designs in this game are great. I, I don't need to. I don't need to, but I want to see this again. I love the character designs in the game. I, I agree. That one's super dead. Oh, yeah, I did see in Discord you were talking about Scarlet and Violet. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, we'll see about those games. I'm not really super hyped for them. Whatever, they might blow me away, but I'm not, I'm not really super pumped for them. Unless they show me something that is really mind-blowing. I'm just not really looking forward to them. I mean, unless they take a lot from Legends Arceus, but I don't know, dude. I don't know if they will. If they take stuff from Legends Arceus, then yeah, I'll play them. I don't know if they're gonna keep the Legends Arceus style like a mainline Pokemon thing, or if they're gonna keep it like a side thing. I have no idea. Depending on that, though, we shall see. I'm not getting I'm not promising I get Scarlet and Violet yeah I have to see more of the games they do more of what Arceus did I'll buy them if they're basically like that game then yeah I would say I'm down is there, is there a chest here there should be I'm not confirming that oh it's right there First of all, we got like a little teaser that they existed. We didn't really get all that much gameplay. So there's no answer for me yet. But I can't possibly convince unless I'm getting the games. Which at this point, it's most likely no. We'll see. I can't say 100% no unless I see stuff on them. On the bright side, though, my new release window for fall is very light, so if I do decide to get them, it wouldn't be that hard to fit them in. But I'm not gonna buy a game just for the sake of needing slots, you know? Like, if a, if a game doesn't look interesting to me, I'm not gonna do it just because, oh, I need stuff to play for late 2022. I'm not gonna just pick, like... Like, oh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet just because I need stuff to play. For that, I could just work on my backlog. So unless they really interest me, it is not guaranteed. I keep forgetting I don't have a great sword ability yet. We really need to get one soon, hopefully. Am I actually, you know what? Hit me up with... Oh, it's a better greatsword. Okay. Oh, you can't switch equipment? Oh, you can. There's an equipment menu. Yeah, very convenient to switch equipment. You could play on the uh, normal sword for a second. For a little bit of the game. Why not? In that case, put the uh, leather shield on. Yo, Cal! Let's see what kind of weather we can look forward to. Moo! Looks like clear skies around here. Cal's talking? Okay. That was weird. I wonder how long the trailer will be. It's just a trailer, but I feel like it'll be long. Yeah, I don't know. I have no clue, honestly. Actually, wait, is this a- this might be a- this might be a boss, actually. Oh no, we, okay. We come back here or something. All right, not, not yet then. There is a boss in this area though, like a mini boss of sorts. There's an accolade for speaking to the bloody weather cow in every location. If it's not a trophy, I don't care. 
if it isn't, uh, if accolades aren't, if there's an accolade that isn't a trophy, I don't really care that much. I mean, we might do it. I might do it just by complete chance, but I'm not going to go out of my way for it. If I am, I'm going to not do it. I'm just going to, like, you know, I'll worry about that later game. If I can get a platinum trophy and I don't need every single accolade, then that's good enough by me. And there are already some accolades that don't link to... I already got this. There are already accolades that don't link to trophies, so I'm pretty sure not every accolade is going to be a trophy. Some are, but not all of them. If we find them, we find them. Which, I mean, I'm exploring really good, so we should be able to find them all. Burn! And die. Too easy. Another one bites the duck. <laughs> that lips enemy just got one shotted. Ooh, we got a campfire and a church statue. Look at that. A campsite. And just when we needed one. It's still a fair way to cobblestone. Let's rest up for the night. I still can't get over old Dirk. He didn't just go straight, married, shop in the best part of town. He went straighter than straight. Just like that. We used to be thick as thieves. <laughs> Literally. We travel the world, always on the hunt for loot. Ah, those were the days. Oh, speaking of which, I just thought of something we acquired back then that might come in handy. Yeah, I've decided. I'm giving it to you. You'll love it. We sure did when we got our hands on it. Behold, the fun size forge. Pop a few raw materials on top, bash them with the porter pounder, and Bob's your uncle. New equipment. And I'm not just talking steel swords and the like. Wooden boomerangs, a natty new jerkin, you name it. This thing can make it. Sweating over a hot forge was never exactly my style. But I have a feeling you'll get more use out of it than I ever did. Oh, trust me, I'm gonna use this thing till it breaks. You can't just go smashing stuff together willy-nilly, though. You'll need the recipe for the piece of equipment you want to make. Here's a little something to get you started. You should strike while the iron's hot. Oh, yeah, of course you're gonna give me... I, I, I'm dumb. Because I forgot that Eric's gonna give me some recipes, and then I think I'm pretty sure the next town is gonna have our first recipes. I should have known that Eric would give me ingredients before... or recipes, rather, before we start looking for them. Forging ahead with the fun size Forge, a beginner's guide. Bronze swords, divine daggers, not bad. There are recipes hidden all over the place. It, treasure chests and bookshelves are always a good bet. Keep an eye out, and you're sure to find some beauties. Alright, let's do our first forging of the playthrough. I'm very excited. Let me give you some of the ingredients you need for those recipes I gave you. Maybe you could try forging yourself a weapon or something like that. Dude, I love it. You can use the fun size forge to craft all kinds of equipment based on recipes that make use of raw materials you collect in your adventures. New recipes can be found in treasure chests and bookshelves. You'll be able to acquire the ingredients you need by defeating monsters or investigating sparkling spots. All right, let's do it. Let's make ourselves a divine dagger. We got lots of the ingredients. Smithing items couldn't be simpler, so like bash to start beating your ingredients into shape and finish when you're ready to wrap things up. Hammer away at each individual area with your porta pounder to fill up the blue gauge next to it and aim to get every gauge in the green zone. See the traveler's hits for more information. So, Dragon Quest VIII has the alchemy pot where you just toss stuff together. You know, it, it's nice, it gets the job done. But this is a mini game. I adore this. 
So, you have to, as I just said, get it to the green. That should be good. And you don't want to get it over the green. Alright, that's perfect. Then you can appraise it to see how it's going to turn out. Or right, look at the Divine Dagger. Looks like it would turn out pretty well. That's a plus two, I believe. I would love to get me a plus three, dude. That would be amazing. You can also rework stuff. Like upgrade current equipment. If you have... Oh, that's a plus one. I thought it was a plus two. I'm getting a plus three. Yeah, perfectionist pearls. That's what they're called. You can use these to attempt to rework the item with the aim of doing it an even better job. Don't worry about ruining your hard-earned works of art. Even if you fail to rework something, you won't lose it. Let's make the bronze sword and see if we can get a, uh, a perfect. Well, this one has three. Alright. It's the best we can do there. Really well. I think that's a plus two. It gets a lot more fun when you get more skills. Like, I think later you can get, like, things that hit multiple squares. It's a lot more fun to be like, Hey, what do I want to use to get this and not run out of AP or whatever? Alright, that's done. Is there any... Do we work the great sword or the copper chopper? Because I'm gonna be using that a little bit with uh, the luminary here. Oh my goodness! It is a great sword. I'm tempted to do that again. I'm gonna hold off though. Beautiful critical hit. Really well. Part of me wants to do this one again. I don't think I should. I'm doing it. Nah, it was a mistake. Oh, still really well. It's fine. Right, that was a good, like, attempt. We will get a plus three in this playthrough. I don't know when, but it'll happen. Upper chopper plus two. Awesome. Could we work armor too? Let's rework the boxer shorts, dude. Why not? I just want to forge more. Awesome. Oh, dang it. I keep getting plus twos. There will be a plus two. Or a plus two. There will be a plus three, I promise. I don't know when, but it'll happen. I will cash my break and get a plus three. Plus two is fine. Alright, that's enough forging. Oh, we, we'll be doing so much of uh, that later on. Nice, did everything go according to plan? Yeah, more or less. Nice work, you must be a natural. Don't rest on your laurels yet. Uh, this is a deep, deep art we're talking about here. By the way, you can bust out the fun size forge anytime you want. Yeah, this is a new uh, thing. You can bust it out wherever you want. You don't have to use it at a campfire. That's a definitive edition change. Alright, that was fun. I look forward to getting more recipes and forging them. A banana champ. Sun's high in the skies already. Skies already. Sky Wait, what? Sun's high in the sky already. Time for us to head this cobblestone. Why was that so hard to read? I got tongue-tied there. Alright. Let's keep moving on and get as much done as we can. Where I have to go, right? I'm able to go down here. Oh, okay, right, right, right. That bridge isn't made, so we're gonna like do something and then go back later. Oh, some flintstone. Ooh, lots of ingredients. Let's go. Ooh, don't mind if I freaking do. Recipe book: Economies of Scale. Scale shield suits of scale armor. Let's go. We'll do that later. Alright, I guess I can't read that book. 
breaking all your stuff, don't mind me. I forgot chests can also carry recipes as well. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna pass by, don't mind me. mark on Nova's hand is glowing, seems to be responding to the curiously shaped plant. Hold your hand out to it. Yeah, like, what could possibly go wrong? 